I'm gonna take you to a video of a military officer punching an elderly man. Here it is. Come on, come on, do it again. Call the police, please. Call the police. Before. Oh my God! 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 Are you okay? Let me show you what led up to this. Here's the full video. I just said I am, bitch. Walk away. Walk the fire lane. None of you are gonna do a move. You're not gonna do a goddamn thing. Crush all of you. Get the out of here. Shut up. Hey, why don't you calm down? Oh, you want it? Cool. I can get violent with you because you're a guy. You want to bitch. That's good. Calm down. Why you want to That military officer has been arrested. Let's put up his uh, mugshot. Okay, I'm gonna give you some background. Keep that mugshot up. Uh, this happened last month when this man, Richard Suarez, 39 years of age, uh, knocked out Mr. Michael Pennington, who's 60 or older, um, who scolded him for his behavior leading up to that punch. Okay, uh, this encounter happened at a shopping center in LA. All right. According to the military officer whom you see, he was experiencing PTSD. That's what he says, okay? Um, the attorney says it doesn't excuse what happened, but he thought uh, his client was in, he thought his client felt he was in a combat zone. Uh, that's not what I see, I just, I see a guy just being who he is. Um, after the punch, this will happen after that. His wife came out of the store and found him parked some distance away shaking. She was afraid to make the drive to New Orleans with him. And ultimately his mother drove him to a VA hospital where he was admitted. Um, this is still what they call conduct unbecoming. Um, it is going to be interesting to see how this is dealt with, not only by the local officials, but also by the, um, by the US military. So uh, Senator Turner. Turner, uh, I get it, PTSD is a very real thing. I'm sensitive to that. that, that's not my beef here. I literally see an argument and a guy who is continuing to be aggressive to multiple individuals. He walked away and then he walked back. At, at some point, you have to know, even if you have a tendency to act a particular way because of what atmosphere you've been around, you still have to know when not to cross a line with somebody. Yeah, agreed. And maybe he was having a, a moment. Uh, maybe he was, and 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 I hate that he was having that moment. But his moment bubbled over into making other people's moments bad. And it was something that he said that really struck me when he said to the to the elderly gentleman, "I, I can hit you because you're a man." Yeah. Uh, something to that effect. Right. I mean, that just feeds into this toxic masculinity that that we're. Fed a steady diet of in, in this country. No, you can't put your hands on anybody unless it is in self defense. Right. And I didn't see anything. I mean, I don't know if I missed something. There were some other angles where he was in the position of defending himself. So he definitely went off. If it was a post traumatic stress disorder moment, I hope that he gets the help that he needs. But that yeah. was very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm with you 100% on that.